He's put a link to the independent paper, right? So yeah, I've yeah. searched this story out, right? And it's a schoolgirl who ran away from home. <laughs> See her pop idol, Brian Harvey, right? So you didn't tell her to come and do that. Well, no, of course not. People turn up. But listen, yeah. it's always been so, like that. People just turn up. Most people are just normal, they turn up, they want to take a picture or something or whatever. It don't really, it's not really like that now, it's not been like that for a long time, but you get the odd one fucking turn up and that, oh, what are you doing, just thought I'd knock on the door. Yeah, it happens, yeah. so yeah, there's, there's nothing unusual about that. Yeah. So anyway. I just don't like the fact that the way that cunt's wrote that, try to make it look like, even suggest, like, you're a cunt, mate. Do you know that? You're a fucking cunt and Puddy and Wedger and Bill Maloney, all you fucking people. You're getting caught, mate. You're getting caught. It's fucking going there. You're getting caught. I'm not having this from you. I'm not fucking having this from you. You're the fucking nonsense, mate. And that's what everyone's going to find out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Go on. Sorry, mate. Well, yeah, yeah, let's get this. Fuck you. Let's get the paper here anyway, what the story is. So anyway, she ran away from home to see Brian, right? And she was repeatedly raped by a taxi driver she trusted. An old Bailey heard. Yeah, oh, I remember oh, vaguely on. hearing, right. so I don't remember it, but I remember right. something about this in the past. I can't right. be sure when this was. Well, this was the 2nd of June, 1998. 1998, right. So this girl then would have knocked on my door at Swan Lane in Loughton. Yeah. I'd be there then, wouldn't I, 98? Well, yes, 98, 97 was then. Yes, 98, I'm in the house in Latin with Tash. Prima are coming round. We're recording all the uh, Resurrection album. Yeah, so it would have been a night then. Yeah. Right. So uh, after uh, her alleged ordeal, she went to the E17 singer's home, rang his doorbell and shouted that she was cold and wanted some blankets. But he told her to clear off the court heard. The 13-year-old... Well, if I did tell her to clear off, right, and honestly, you're talking about something in 98, someone's knocked on my door, right? So if I had told her to clear off, I probably at the time wouldn't have believed it and there's someone knocking on my door, as they always did, just being a pest. Just wanting something. Off that's, your, that's, yeah. So they can sell it after time or keep Mate, it. People were knocking on the door all yeah. the fucking time. Especially, especially medical. after 97. Yeah. Especially after all that second act. People are just fucking turning up all the time. Yeah. I don't know what's true and what ain't. Yeah, Do you they, know what I mean? They want to, like, to keep a memento and all that. You know what I mean? So, like, you know what I mean? They're knocking on me door as they always. Right. So, uh, after, uh, her alleged ordeal, she went to the E17 singer's home, rang his doorbell and shouted that she was cold and wanted some blankets. But he told her to clear off the court herd. The 13-year-old... Well, 